All right, trip log, Saturday, May 20th, 2017. Here we are at home, just getting ready to depart. I've got the truck more or less loaded up. We just got to put a few more things of uh, Liz's in, as well as some uh, food. And we're going to be heading off today to Otter Bay, Pender Island. So the reason I'm doing this trip log is because we haven't been there before, so hopefully it'll be a nice place. Uh, I understand that it's about uh, five minutes down the road from a really nice golf course, so I'll be bringing my golf clubs this time around. And, of course, we're going to be bringing little Chloe, who's basking in the sun in the background there, enjoying a great day. And hopefully everything goes well. we got to go fuel up over at the uh, fueling jetty in the inner harbor of Victoria. Then, uh, by my calculations, I think with my nav planner, it's about 31 nautical miles. I'll be doing about uh, 20 knots, so I'm, I don't know, I'm figuring about an hour and a half, two hours, give or take, stopping for a few sightseeing ventures. And we'll get in there sometime in the afternoon. Um, right now it's oh, about 10 o'clock, high tides at uh, about noon. And then we'll be on the ebb after that and it should be smooth sailing. They're calling for uh, calm calm uh, winds or calm seas, I guess, um, for the weekend. And it's the May long weekend, of course. And we're hoping to have a very enjoyable trip. So next time you'll see me, I'll be down at the dock. Okay, we've come down to the, uh, the jetty now and we're just uh, storing ship. We've uh, brought all our goods on board. We've got uh, fresh water. I'm going to do a bit of a flush of the uh, the fresh water tank. I left chlorine in it just to kill all the bugs and everything. And we of course don't use it for drinking but we do uh, use it for washing and stuff. And uh, you can see she's all ready for her first journey of the year hopefully. We'll get her flashed up and uh, we'll be off to Pender Island, Otter Bay, which should be a uh, fun exciting evening or weekend and as you can see the weather today is absolutely spectacular no complaints so hopefully next time we'll see you will be when we're cruising out probably around Baines Channel or something so we got to go get fuel and then uh, head off for a 31 mile trek in our wonderful boat yonder so there she is in all her glory and you can see it's sort of uh, mid-tide level it's actually high tide for the day um, high high tide actually happened uh, in the middle of the night so we want to get there by five o'clock when it's actually low tide so we've got lots of time to do that it's uh, now 11:30, so by the time we skip out of here it'll be about half a, another half an hour and then uh, over to the fueling dock and then away we go so we'll talk to you soon. All right, we just uh, loaded up with fuel. We've got uh, all of 100 or 80 liters actually of uh, fuel for 114 bucks, which wasn't bad. So a good thing we kept a lot of fuel in her over the winter. Of course, we stabilized it, so engine's running good. Um, we're just leaving the uh, fueling dock, which you can see in the background there. And then we're heading off out towards the open sea. Uh, just coming around the corner from the inner harbor out towards Ogden Point Breakwater. Uh, Liz is already in her comfy spot with her little puppy dog at her feet. And her nice little cool floater jacket on. And of course, she wants to buy a Jeep and she want, doesn't want to buy the lime green Jeep because it would match Chloe's little floater jacket. I'm kind of disappointed with that. But, Nevertheless, here we go. We're off to the open sea, 31 miles of transit time. Actually, according to this, it's 35 miles transit time, transit distance. So that should equate to about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how many times we slow down and stop. Oh, and we've got one of the little harbor ferries coming across. You can see just over our starboard uh, bow. And they're taking some nice tourists around the, uh, the inner harbor. So here we go. We'll check in a little bit later once we're further out. All right, here we are out in the uh, middle of Perro Straits, ripping along at a good 21 knots. It's a pretty good clip. Uh, sea state is 
quite calm for the uh, for the day, so we'll just pass the plane through this if we can. We have to have from some other vessels every once in a while. But uh, all in all, it's just a phenomenal day to be out on the, uh, the ocean. And of course, Chloe, uh, Princess Chloe over there is snuggling up to Mummy. And they're having a good bonding adventure out here. So here we are in the middle of nowhere. No land close by with the sun in the middle of the night. I'm heading that way towards Petra Island. There we are approaching turn point. You can see the deep sea freighter heading off to either Seattle or or more likely uh, Vancouver. And up ahead here is Moresby Island on the bow. And then we just saw some orcas over there by Gooch Island jumping out of the water. They were up the camera out in time. They were jumping and playing and having a grand old time. And of course Bowie and Mommy having a little cuddle time still. They do love their cuddling boat rides. And then over there is Pender Island that we've seen. So we're heading up to that, uh, in between Moresby and Pender. There's a point, point that you see up ahead. And there is a good graphical representation of how we're, you know, where we're going. You can see us down there. And we're heading up to bouncing around a bit so it's hard to hold it steady. We're doing a good good clip at 21 and 22 knots and we should be there in a reasonable amount of time. And here we are just approaching Otter Bay Marina. So you can see a bunch of little cabins on the shoreline there and then uh, some masts sitting around the corner. I think we're actually around the corner a little bit. And uh, I haven't been here before, but I, su I suspect it's where all those little masts are there. Check her out. Hopefully that'll be it. And there's the, uh, just over there is the Otter Bay Ferry Dock. And then back in that direction is uh, Salt Island. There you have it. Pulling in and give you a little report on what it looks like. Very nice, uh, nice location. Nice and sheltered, it looks like. Always all sniffing things. And there we are on the chart. A little shiny, but we'll see. So, here Chloe is in. Otter Bay, Pender Island, and I think she's a little hot because we're, she's panting a bit, so she's had some water. We'll put her down below deck. So here is the harbor, and it's a nice little spot. So we're at Charlie 65 Jetty, and I'm knocking myself around here, and there is in the distance you can see where the pool is they just painted it yesterday so the lower pool is not in use and they have a little uh, cafeteria store business office I guess over on the uh, shoreward side and we're on the uh, landmost so uh, leg of the uh, the jetty structure here so there's three fingers and two channels basically for boats and here you can see it's a lovely, lovely little cove. And we've already got our dinghy put out. I'll have to put the motor on, which you can see there. We just had some hot dogs. And so I just have to say that it's a real nice place to come into. The, uh, there is a um, green boy just at the entrance to the... Uh, 
to the approach to the uh, marina and you have to keep that to port obviously uh, if you know your voyage system um, because they say there's some rocks or whatever that it's covering doesn't really show on the chart but I followed what the locals said and no issues um, it's a small place and uh, not much in the way of uh, pubs or anything around here but that's not really what we were looking for anyway so it does look like a, a fun retreat kind of place so they have cabins that looks like for rent here you can see in the background behind my shoulder there and also up the hill and they stretch out all along the shorefront which I think you saw when we uh, did the uh, approach video footage so uh, we have uh, both 15 amp and 30 amp service here they do have uh, fresh water hoses available although we're all tanked up for water so we don't really need it for the weekend and looks like it's uh, going to be an enjoyable stay so as we uh, we'll probably go out in the dinghy a couple times and just go do a bit of exploring and then we'll take some shots of uh, some of the little bay bays and uh, activities that we do while we're here for the weekend here we are out in the dinghy with Chloe enjoying the beautiful weather, snuggling up to mummy. Well, maybe not snuggling, checking it all out. We've got a boat waiting to get into uh, Otter Bay. We'll put the motor on here, go for a putt putt. And there's the marina, Otter Bay Marina that we're staying at. And here we are in our little boat, checking it out. Having a grand old time. We'll go buzz by the uh, cottages. We went for a walk up on the top there, and we had the nice cottages. And what a view from up there! It's just absolutely spectacular. And we just got back from our little jaunt in the dinghy. And already Chloe and Mummy have assumed the position. <coughs> Taking advantage of the nice calm warm evening. There we go. We got our barbecue going. It's probably a little dirty in there. And then of course we have our beers and ciders. And our messy cabin down below. No, we're not going to show off what a dirty cabin we have here. Here we are out at uh, the point at Otter Bay. It's called Pitts Point, and you can see a little sign here at the end. Named in memory of Mary Kay Pitts Spence, a lady who cherished and protected the beauty and life of Otter Bay, 1949 to 2002. So there's the, uh, the boy at the entrance to the uh, marina that I mentioned earlier in my video, that uh, you're not supposed to cut inside, you're actually to leave it to port as, for the, as per the standard voyage regulations. And here you can see the nice little marina, that is the Otter Bay Marina, with the facilities in the back there, and of course all the cabins. It's now getting very close to sunset. Out in the distance there you can see Salt Spring Island. You can see a number of small boaters, a lot of people with their little dinghies go out into the bay. You can see a bunch of uh, of crab traps have been set, so quite a good uh, crabbing area is what I've been told. I should have brought mine, but uh, didn't think of it. And once again, here's Pitts Point, little sort of landing area with picnic tables. Very nice location. And there's my little puppy in uh, yonder with Liz next to her. Her tail is wagging, so she's happy to see her buddy. And there's our little vessel. It ain't the biggest vessel in the 
marina. But it's ours and it's fun and we enjoy it. There we go. Let's go see our puppy. There's our little chairs that we use to catch some rays during the day. And little puppy is so happy to see me. Look at you. Our dinghy where we went for a ride earlier. And now it's supper time, so I gotta put on some hamburgers. We're gonna have corn on the cob and perfect finish to a beautiful day and a beautiful marina. What's the matter, Chloe? Mommy went up to go for a shower and now you're sad. Oh well. And we'll get you some more water because you keep knocking your water dish over. There we go. Here we are and as you can see, I'm getting set to go golfing on Pender Island. The golf course is only about a five minute drive down the road. And there we go, we've woken up and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Got everything on charge. And you can see up there is the building, straight ahead is the washroom with showers. So that's where this is and off to the right is the convenience store and, and main office of the building or the uh, facility. All right, here I am out on the second tee at the Pender Bay or Otter Bay, I guess, um, golf course. That was the first tee. That gave me some trouble. I had to take a mulligan off my tee box or tee drive. Just got some new glasses, so I uh, just kept going out of focus. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, um, just waiting for the crew ahead to swack a ball off, and uh, we'll get going. Great, uh, great little track. All right, this is hole number eight. Uh, not playing the greatest round of my life, but uh, interesting course. Lots of white clover, which of course hides the balls in the spring so uh, that's been a challenge trying to find your ball in the middle of the fairway um, it's a nice course i actually enjoy it i just need to uh, play it a few more times just to uh, figure out how to how to play it so glad i came it's um, a good way to spend an afternoon when you're out on the boat kill some time get some fresh air and uh, get some sunshine. So here you have it. You can see that's the path I came down and uh, the tee box is actually up on the top of that, uh, that hill. And then if you look at the uh, big creek bed and I came close to putting it on, it's 230 yards, but uh, I laid it up a little bit, but uh, just on the edge of the green. So happy with my shot. To follow. All right, here we are at the ninth tee box, men's tee, and that's looking back down on number eight, where you can see the elevated tees just below those two pine trees that are uh, up near the top there, which is a picturesque view. I should have actually taken some shots from that uh, angle, and then this is looking down. Hole number nine, which uh, has a bunch of trees right in the middle of the fairway, so it'll be an interesting par five. You can see my bag down there by uh, towards the pond, and that's the ladies' tee just over there. So good finishing hole, just playing nine today, and hopefully we'll do well. There's the end of hole six, and hole two. Over by that shed is a barn, and there's a bunch of cattle on the other fields adjacent to the place. And there's the clubhouse, the Zupa's Bistro, which has good food. I had some uh, lunch there before my round started. And uh, very pleasurable staff here. So I enjoyed my little outing. And now it's back to the boat. Here's Puppy exploring the boat. Checking it out while we have tunes on. Have over here the golf clubs for me returning. And it's Sunday and 
the marina is a little bit more desolate because everybody's taken off.